Hey my beautiful people, yet today we are making some yummy and delicious jollof rice. Guys, yeah, trust me, this is a must watch. If you want to learn how to make some yummy and delicious jollof rice, make sure you stay tuned and watch till the end. <sighs> guys in today's um recipe which is chow fries i'm so excited about it guys um i'll be using this ingredients that you're seeing here today uh which are uh beth uh red peppers and some uh scotch bunny i'm using five a uh, scotch bunny and three uh red peppers and three tatache and i'll also be using uh three um onions and some garlic so guys i also had some uh, fresh ginger and also some um uh is it chopped tomatoes yeah some chopped tomatoes also i've had there or plum tomatoes whatever one you want to use or some fresh tomatoes you can add as well so i'm just gonna blend everything together now and after that i'm just gonna be you know uh boiling the tomatoes and that's everything together so i'm gonna be boiling everything guys look at that so i'm just gonna pop boil it for about 20 minutes think everything's completely dry dry and dry <laughs> Guys, while the tomatoes is pa boiling, so I'm just gonna be sneezing my meat, and after that, I'll be boiling the meat for about um 15 to 18 minutes, let's say roughly. And after that, we'll go back and check on our pa boiled tomatoes. So, as you can see, these are all the ingredients that I've put so far, and I'm gonna leave it to cook for about 18 minutes. <music> guys this is my parboy tomatoes and it's been cooking for about 20 minutes so at this stage i'm okay with the way it is now and i'm gonna leave it aside guys for this recipe today i'll be using easy cook rice yes you heard me right easy cook rice i really like using easy cook rice for my jollof rice this particular easy cook rice is very very good uh, i buy it from asda if you live in uk uh, I, I normally buy this sea house it's called sea house from uh asda um so it's very good it's, it's one of the best easy cook rice i've ever used in my life so i think you guys should give it a try and i'll put the name down in the description box guys at this stage i'm gonna be frying my meat as my uh chicken and my turkey Friday, so i'm gonna be frying dinner if you notice i really like frying my meat with um honeys like oh my god guys if you've never tried it before you need to try it like your meat tastes so good when you add onions to the oil before frying it it tastes really good you need to give it a try guys so that's my uh, chicken and my turkey so far so i'm just taking them off now this is gonna be so fun guys it's gonna be so yummy trust me make sure you watch till the end guys right, so at this stage my uh pub rice is ready i only pub boil it for about six minutes and that's it and at this stage uh, i'm gonna start god so i'm gonna start you know frying my tomatoes oh yeah let's go guys oh yeah so i've had uh, some red onions and after that guys i'm just gonna be adding my derica i'm using derica today so guys this is a must your tomato paste is a must if you want your jollof rice to come really well make sure you're adding enough of tomato paste like guys 
this is the way do it right make it your jello fry trust me i know what i'm talking about sorry guys i'm using this a uh, particular cookware because it's one of the best i use in um making my jello fries it might not look neat or clean the way people want it to be you know but however i just love a making my jello fries with this because my jello fries taste so good whenever i make it with it so so far guys um i've just only just had them my you know my uh derica which is my tomato paste i've only just had that eight and i'm leaving it to fry for about five minutes just make sure you're controlling it. if not everything will just get burnt so be careful with the amount of things you're putting guys one thing you've noticed i don't know if you've noticed it in the video uh the only thing i've just done uh is that i've used the oil that i use in frying that those meat so that's the only oil i use it was just little oil if you notice it on my food i never had too much oil it's only tiny oil because too much oil is not good for you just as other um food channel they use a lot of oil like i don't use that it's just too much like too much of oil is not good for you this, i'm cooking a lot of jello fries today but the amount of oil i added in this uh, recipe is just a tiny bit so guys i've added my purple tomatoes already and now i've added my bay leaves and also i'm gonna be adding every other uh ingredients to this uh tomatoes and that is the right day guys jello fry seasoning i always had jello fries to seasoning to all my jello fries so guys i'm gonna be having have had him i mean two uh tablespoons let's say of uh of jello fry seasoning and after that guys i'll be having every other ingredients like my seasoning powder i swear and my thyme a little bit of thyme and if you have garlic powder guys also had a little bit but i ran out of it this time so i could have had that much of it add whatever seasoning you want to add just to make your jar of fry look yummy and delicious you know so now my pub boil um my mixed chicken stock i mean i'm just having some chicken stock this is a must you must have chicken stock but however if you do not have chicken stock stock at home you can add water as well a lot of people add water i've had the water before without having to add uh me stock uh chicken stock it was it still came really nice and yummy you know so guys so at this stage i'm gonna keep frying it i've added some little salt to it just in case the uh the all the ingredients i've added someone wasn't that much they have that much of salt i mean and now i'm having my purple rice guys oh my god this is nice this is looking so yummy already guys like this is the right day make sure you try this recipe guys by the time i finish this cooking this jello fry everyone was already on the queue in my house to test this jello fry trust me i know what i'm talking about this is so yummy this is how your jello fries to look enough of these tomatoes enough of everything like just so nice guys like you know so at this stage what i'm gonna do is to just um uh, cover it up you know had a little bit i'm adding a little bit more of the um chicken stock so just had a little bit of chicken stock don't have too much water to your jello fry because jello fry usually cook with the heat not with water you know with the amount of liquid you put it's just gonna spoil your jello fry you see guys after i cover it off for about 10 minutes and after that i've just come back to check on the jello fry so i'm gonna cover it up back again and come back again i'm just gonna keep checking on it all the time you know just to make sure the jello fries is coming where the way i want it to be you know the end result is gonna be absolutely amazing guys <music> So guys, I'm going to start making my um, pepper chicken. So I just added some little oil to the pan. And at this stage, my pepper tomato, I'm just going to add it to the oil while the oil is really, really hot, you know. And I'm going to add some pinch of salt, just a little bit of salt. I'm going to add to it because with the meat, the meat was already seasoning. So I don't need too much of having to put some 
um, Maggie cubes or you know other seasoning stuff so I've just had a little sauce and my chicken having my chicken to eat guys if you follow it this way it's finger licking trust me I know what I'm talking about this is so yummy like so just fry for uh, about five minutes after frying just to make sure everything be incorporated like nicely you know like so and after that you can just take your chicken off and pull aside and then we'll be getting back to the jello fries to control our jello fries guys isn't this so beautiful is it this so yummy is it this so delicious and figure leaky? Hey? What do you think, guys? Just take a look at my jarofa, guys. At this stage, my jarofa is actually ready, but I'm just gonna stay leave it for a few minutes, like about two, three minutes at this stage. So, guys, at this stage, you can add your uh, butter if you want to put butter in your uh, jello fries. You can actually can actually had some to eat but at this stage guys i'm uh, gonna have some onions oh my god guys let me have some onions to eat just to make it look nice it's my good and yummy and delicious you know so that's what i'm gonna do now so i'm just gonna start adding some onions because my jello fries is absolutely ready like as you can all see here it's looking yummy already and beautiful so i'm adding some onions now just this is the end you know guys it's yummy what do you think about my beautiful and yummy jello fries please don't forget to check this video like comment and tell me how you make your jello fries if you make it different way why don't you suggest me another way of making jello fries i'll be very happy to take that on board you know you know you trust me